friends welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday it is Saturday you know what that is grocery day so I'm going to be doing quite a bit of grocery shopping this week I will be going to Costco Trader Joe's and Fred Meyer which is also a Kroger store so I have quite the haul for you this week so if you want to see what I picked up for the week as well as what's on my plan for meals for the week and what I'm going to be showing you in meal prep on meal prep Monday just stay tuned <laughs> So here's what I picked up from Trader Joe's for the week. I went there mainly to get my favorite bread and some hamburger, but I found a few other things that I'm just gonna incorporate into some meals this next week. So let's jump in to our Trader Joe's haul. First, I picked up these reduced fat cheese puffs. I did try these. These are absolutely delicious. You can have 35 puffs for four smart points, so you definitely get a big bang for your buck. They do not taste reduced fat. They definitely have that real good Cheeto flavor delicious. So highly recommend these at your Trader Joe's. Of course, my favorite bread, the sprouted wheat sourdough bread. I love this bread because it's dense, it's full of flavor, and it is only two smart points per slice, but each slice has seven grams of protein. So amazing bread. Absolutely amazing. Grab some crackers while I was there. I love these roasted gorgonzola flavored crackers. These are so delicious. They're great by themselves. So you can save some points on some dip and just eat the crackers by themselves. So good. So I picked those up. I was out of cinnamon. So just restocking. And then I grabbed some cheeses. Of course, my Jarlsberg light Swiss cheese slices. I love these. This big, huge slice of cheese is only one smart point. So I love it for burgers, sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. You can't beat a big, thick, full size slice of cheese for one smart point. Also my favorite light cheese, the light shredded three cheese blend. I love this. One of my staples. And then also my other staple is the organic shredded mozzarella. This is my replacement for the really delicious light mozzarella that is out of sale for a while. Hopefully they bring it back this next year. So this is what I found to replace that. Two smart points is it for an ounce and it's really good, solid, delicious cheese. So those are my cheeses that I grabbed. Also, I picked up some salad kits just to have as a side dish with dinner. I love this one. I've had this before. This is the Mediterranean style salad kit. So this one has romaine shredded broccoli stalks, radicchio, celery, seasoned flatbread strips, feta, sun-dried tomatoes, chickpeas, and red wine vinaigrette. It's delicious. I did feature this in my uh, last Trader Joe's Five Nights of Dinners. So I'll make sure that I link that video down below for you to check it out. All Nights of Dinners came straight from Trader Joe's. This is delicious. And then this is a new one that I hadn't seen before and this is the Veggies and Greens Salad Kit. This one is a crisp and crunchy blend of veggies, including cauliflower and Brussels sprouts with radicchio, kale, dried pear crumbles, that sounds amazing, pistachios, and honey ginger dressing. Both of these were pretty low in smart points, so I picked those up. Frozen Brussels sprouts, Trader Joe's are my very, very favorite. I've been eating a lot of these lately. Really good, delicious Brussels sprouts and only 99 cents a bag. Two pounds of my favorite hamburger, the 96.4 from the butcher shop at Trader Joe's. Such great quality hamburger. And then lastly, another bag of the grain-free turkey and pumpkin jerkies for my dogs. So that was my Trader Joe's haul for the week. I did make a trip to Costco and bought a ton of stuff, but I was just going to show you the food items that I picked up. I did get a case of water, uh, and then these are the food items I grabbed while I was there. So blueberries, you guys are a great deal right now at Costco, $3.99 per package. That is a steal. It's a one point one pound, two ounce package. So I grabbed two of those for the week. Also, Zip Fizz is on sale. This is great. My husband actually drinks these more than me. I actually prefer the Built Boost, but this is a good option as well, and they have a lot of vitamins in them. It's the combo pack of grapefruit punch and orange. And then these. So I found these. These are a new item to me. I just was kind of scanning things as I was going through the store. So these are organic, gluten-free, vegetarian, non-GMO ingredients. These are sunflower bites with white cheddar and a sunflower seed blend. So there's your nutritional information. I'm going to put the points here on the screen. Super low in points. So 
Really excited to have these as just a side dish. You could throw these in the air fryer, pop them on a sheet pan in the oven, but definitely picked those up. So that is the food items that I grabbed at Costco. So here is my grocery haul from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. And this is gonna round out my grocery haul for the week. So let me show you what I picked up from Fred Meyer. First things first, some fat-free Ready Whip. I pick this up every week, just so I always have it on hand. I like this in parfaits on my yogurt. It's delicious and you can have up to five tablespoons for zero points. So it's nice just to throw on as a dessert. And then I decided this week to get the Too Good yogurt from Light and Fit with the two grams of sugar. I did look at the ingredients and they're really good. And they're not as clean as Siggy's, but they're pretty close to as clean as Siggy's. And these are only two smart points a piece. So I picked up one vanilla one mixed berry and two coconut. I like these by themselves. I also like to have these in a parfait with a smart cake and some of the fat-free ready whip. So four yogurts, bread mainly for my husband for his lunch, but again, you can have regular sized bread, three smart points per slice. So if you're someone that doesn't like those reduced calorie bread, you can certainly work this into your day. Better than bouillon, I picked up two. Uh, the beef bouillon for a recipe and what's crazy is this stuff is so expensive I can't even believe it. I just noticed that this is the organic so that may be why this one was more and then I also picked up just the premium roasted chicken base. I needed these for a recipe. I think it was like seven dollars or six dollars crazy but they should last a long time. Eggs, my very favorite happy eggs. These are some of the best quality eggs. If you can find these in your area, the yolk is nice and orange as it should be. So dozen of those. And then I picked up some turkey from the deli. This is for my husband's lunch and also for a recipe. You guys, this was a steal, $4.99 a pound this weekend. So although it says $12, I paid $4.99 for some of the oven roasted turkey. And then I also got a pound of provolone for $4.99. So great for my husband's lunches for the week. And again, I did need some turkey for a recipe. Four cans of green beans, take a wild guess. These are for my dogs. We give them these at dinner instead of table scraps. So I just picked up four cans. 100% pure pumpkin for a recipe. This was only a dollar and it's exactly the same as the expensive brand, so thought I'd grab that. And then I was excited that my store is finally carrying these individual Good Culture low-fat cottage cheese. These are so good. They're pre-portioned. It is delicious cottage cheese. It's a very small curd, nice and thick, not watery. And they were on sale, so I picked up three of those. Again, just because they're pre-portioned, it's super easy just to have one as a snack. And I've been loving cottage cheese lately. And then I also picked up a can of biscuits and this is for an upcoming recipe. These were the lowest calorie biscuits that I could find in my store. So grabbed those. And then I saw that they had the Carbomaster milk back, which was exciting. Uh, so I didn't have to purchase the Fairlife anymore. So this is the Kroger Carb Master milk. Frosted mini wheats, these were on sale for $1.50 a box. And this is one of my husband's favorite cereals. And again, you can work this into your plan as well. They're just a little bit higher points. So Frosted mini wheats, it is buck fifty a box. That's a steal. Also grab some shrimp. This is my favorite. This is the private selection Argentinian red shrimp. It literally has a succulent buttery lobster taste and texture. It really does. It is the best shrimp out there and I needed shrimp for a dinner recipe. Black Forest ham, this is for a recipe. I, they didn't have ham on sale in the deli, and that's why I picked this up. This was actually on sale, I think, for $1.50 this weekend as well. And then for breakfast today, it is the day that I use my weeklies. I'm gonna make us some breakfast. I have some pumpkin waffles from Trader Joe's, eggs, and then I'm gonna use this sausage. This is the chicken breakfast sausage. This one is apple maple, and this one is country style. So I'm just gonna fry those up, and we're gonna have those as part of our breakfast. Normally $3.79 a package on clearance for $1.89. And we're gonna eat these today, so excited about that. Also on clearance, I found some more of the natural ground beef. This is 80-20, not something I would generally eat, but my husband likes to have tacos and things in his lunches sometimes. And I usually cook up two to three pounds of hamburger and that is a great deal when this is normally, I wanna say six or $7 a pound. So this is the Simple Truth Organic Natural Ground Beef. And I went ahead and picked up two pounds of that. And last for me is some 93.7 ground turkey. I need this for a recipe this next week. And everything else I picked up is 
produce. So two crowns of broccoli for a recipe. I don't know if they hadn't stocked their produce, but literally there was hardly any left. This was the last stem of green onion, so it's not the nicest stem. Pretty small, pretty sparse, but that's okay. Sparse, I guess is the word. Pretty sparse for green onions, but it was 50 cents, last one they had. So I grabbed that for a recipe. Mushrooms for a recipe, and then they had their small little packs of blueberries and strawberries, or blueberries and raspberries on sale for three for five dollars. I went ahead and picked up three raspberries because you saw that I hauled blueberries from Costco. So this week's fruit is raspberries and blueberries. And then I grabbed two pineapples. I needed these for a recipe, and they were two for five. So I was glad that they were a reasonable price during the winter. And again, this is for an upcoming recipe. So that's everything I picked up at Fred Meyer or Kroger. So let's jump right into my meal plan and what I'm doing this week for meal prep. So let's jump right into this week's meal plan as well as what I'm going to be showing you for meal prep on meal prep Monday. So this is my carry out meal planner. It's the one thing that I use to stay on track and keep my life planned as far as my meals go. I think it's essential in a WW or any type of weight loss journey to have somewhere where you can plan your meals and really hold yourself accountable to those meals. And it makes it easy because it's all planned out and all you have to do is prepare the meal the night that you want to have it for dinner or your lunch or breakfast, just an essential tool for weight loss. So again, this is my Cariel. It's absolutely beautiful. This is my cover from last year. I'm just finishing this one up before I use my brand new meal planner, which I'm so excited about, but it is kind of essentially the same. They've just changed up some of the pictures and a little bit of the layout, which I like much better in the new one. But let me show you what the meal planner has. So first there is a tab for your resources and this is where you can write down your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites. You can even use this to jot down your favorite recipes. There's also the inventory tab where you can inventory your freezer, your pantry, and then also, oops, here we go, your spices. So you can keep track of what you have and when they expire. So this is a very nice tool. We'll revisit the meal plans tab because that's actually where we're going to spend some time. And then you also have your gatherings tab, which is great for planning any type of gathering, a holiday event, a birthday, anytime you're having something at your home, you can plan out exactly what is part of your gathering, what you're going to need for kids, supplies, and then there is a detachable grocery list for you to take to the store. So this is a really nice benefit of the carry -all meal planner. And then there is also the notes tab. And again, just a place for you to jot things down, take notes, write down recipes. And then in the very back, you have this cute little two-sided folder, which is awesome. You can put your weeklies from WW in there. You can put your favorite recipes or things that you want to keep with your meal planner. And it is double-sided, which is really nice. So let's jump into the meal plans tab and this week's meal plan. So in the meal plans tab, there is a monthly calendar. I love this. As you can see, I've planned out all of my meals for the month of January. It makes it really easy to one, know that I have everything on hand for the meal that I'm planning on making. And two, I can make sure that whatever meat I need is pulled out of the freezer or that I have that on hand the night before. So it's just at a glance, know what's on your meal plan for the week. And then each week you have a weekly menu. So I'm kind of planning ahead a little bit for January, but you can write down your meals. You could track everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you'd like in this little section here. And then you also have a detachable grocery list that you can take with you to the grocery store. I use it every week. It's awesome. Again, at a glance, you'll know exactly what's on your plan for meals. So this is the week that we're currently in. My weeks go from Saturday through Friday. My week starts over on Fridays because that's the day that I weigh in. So this is the week of 1-4 through 1-10. So today is Saturday the 4th. It is my day to use my weeklies. So we will be going out to dinner as we're planning on going to a movie as well. So I don't plan anything for dinner. And by the way, in this section here, I only plan my dinners because I do meal prep breakfast and lunch. And I'll show you where I take note of that. Tomorrow night, Sunday for dinner, I'm going to be making pineapple shrimp fried rice. This sounds so delicious. So excited for that. Monday is a leftover night because I work out at Jazzercise in the evening. Tuesday, I'm going to be making Swedish turkey meatballs. And again, this sounds so delicious. Wednesday is a Jazzercise night, so it's a leftover night. 
Thursday, I'm gonna be doing crock pot chicken and gravy. This recipe is part of my meal plan that I offer on my Facebook group and people are saying this is delicious. So I am very excited for that. And then Friday, I'm gonna be doing a beef stroganoff bubble up casserole. So that's why I purchased those biscuits because biscuits are part of a bubble up casserole. So that is what I'll be having for dinners for the week. And then on the back is where I do my meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making breakfast wonton cups. This is another thing I'm super excited about. These sound really, really delicious. And for meal prep, I eat the same thing basically for breakfast and lunch throughout the week. And then I always make a snack or dessert of some choice, of uh, some sort to have for the week as well. So for this week, I'll be having these breakfast wonton cups. For lunch, I'm gonna be doing barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches. I'm really excited about this. This sounds really, really delicious as well. And then I'm gonna be making chocolate fudgy brownies for dessert. I do upload my meal prep every Monday. I refer to it as Meal Prep Monday. So stay tuned on Monday where I'm gonna walk you through making all three of these recipes, give you all of the points, and I'll show you exactly how I put this together for my meals for the week. So that is what is on the plan for meal prep. And again, this is my Carriel meal planner. I do have a 10% off discount code. I'm going to put it here on the screen for you. You can head over to Carriel, check out all the beautiful new covers, and definitely recommend picking up a meal planner here for your weight loss journey. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. It was a haul. We had quite a bit for the week, but we are stocked up and ready for a successful week on WW. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you stick around and subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd love it if you'd give this one a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what are you most excited about on this week's meal plan. And don't forget if you haven't already, head on over, join my Facebook group. We have 12,000 amazing supportive people on that group that are here to help you with any questions that you have. Tons of great ideas are shared and it's just overall a fantastic place to be. So head on over, join my Facebook group. There is a link down in the description box as well as the links to everything that I have a discount for you that I can save you some money on some of your favorite WW products. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Saturday and I'll see you next time. Bye. Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams.